Good afternoon. My name is Judy Keating. I'm the Human Resources Director for the City of New Bedford. We're here today at the Buttonwood Zoo. And what we're doing is we are establishing a Southeastern Massachusetts Municipal HR Group. Um, I am currently the Chair of the Strategic Planning Committee for Human Resources um, of the MMHR. And they have asked me to establish this group because there isn't a lot of activity down here um, in this part of the state. So we're um, attempting today to uh, introduce ourselves to some folks that are close by that we haven't met before and provide a support system for everyone in municipal HR. We've invited approximately 18 communities today um, and we're hoping for uh, that to grow. Uh, some of the things that we talk about of uh, the changes from uh, being in a private sector human resource um, uh, area moving into municipal it's a very different animal so there are a lot of things that um, we all need to kind of support each other on there's a lot of uh, different uh, things such as a, coming from a non-union to a union environment and um, having to deal with a lot of mass general laws that are very specific to municipalities some folks haven't had any of that experience and the goal here is to really get everybody um, to, to be a support system um, and a mentor for uh, new folks coming in. My name is Vanity Cancel. I'm the assistant director of HR for the city of New Bedford and uh, we are excited that all of you took time out of your busy schedules and came to visit us. Um, we are here today to introduce the kickoff meeting for the Southeastern Mass Municipal HR Group. Um, and we're gonna have some important speakers today. And the first thing that we'd like to start off with is um, we just want to introduce and welcome all of the surrounding towns that came to visit us today. We have um, the town of Fairhaven with us today. Um, we also have the town of Dartmouth, we have Attleboro, um, Lakeville, Marion, Raynham, and Middleboro. And let's see here. All right, so if we just want to go to, there we go, okay. Uh, we're just going to kind of brief, give you a brief over, you know, the South Coast and our history and what we're known for. So the area has a history of whaling and fishing industries, agriculture, and in the cities, a collapsed textile industry. Um, it's many, uh, we have, you know, we're known for our harbor and the fishing industry around this area, um, as most of you know and are familiar with. Um, we have some great beaches. Um, we have a lot of, I actually personally came from HR, but from the private sector um, on the waterfront of New Bedford. So I'm very familiar with a lot of the scallop companies, um, the lobster companies and things of that sort. Um, I've been able to, just side note, I've been able to, you know, I've benefited from that because um, just last week I was able to get some crab. <laughs> so <laughs> if you like seafood. Um, and let's see, okay. So our next slide, I just want to briefly introduce our local HR team. Um, we're gonna start off, I already introduced myself, and so now we're gonna give the floor over to Ariana. She is uh, one of our HR generalists in our department, and she's just gonna give a brief overview of where she comes from and what she does for our department. Good morning, everyone. Nice to meet you. A pleasure to be here with you all. My name is Ariana. I am an HR generalist with the city of New Bedford. I have been employed for about two months, so I'm still learning the ropes. Um, I am very familiar with the city. I was a New Bedford resident for about 15 years, which has really helped me out in my little project that I've been assigned to, working on the employee engagement program. So here we're really working with going a little bit above the health insurance um, kind of things and activities that they do. So we are working with local businesses, restaurants, hotels, any kind of amenities throughout the city and offering our employees a discount with that. We're also in the process of working with a lot of new fitness activities. Um, we have a challenge going on between the police and fire department right now. We also are in the works of working with local massage therapists to get like 15 minute chair massages for our employees, just kind of giving them a little bit extra above and beyond for everything that they do for the city. So if you have any questions afterwards, I'll be over here. Thank you. Thank you, Ariana. Nice job, Ariana. Um, next, we, um, we do have one person missing from the group. She's actually on vacation in Portugal. Her name is um, Sandy Urell. She is our finance and operations manager. Um, phenomenal human being, um, a pleasure to work with. 
Um, I know that she's probably sad that, you know, she missed out on this. Uh, she helped put together a lot of things for it. So she's on vacation. So we, um, we're, going to, we're going to move on with uh, Jenny Fuller, who is our senior HR generalist. And Jenny has been, she's the most senior person in our department currently. So Jenny Fuller, ladies. Thank you, Vanity. Um, welcome. My name is Jenny. And I am a senior HR generalist. I've been with um, the HR department for seven years. Um, I started as an HR assistant, um, recently certified um, in HR. And um, I'm happy to say that um, not only have I personally um, ha have growth within the department, um, the department itself has um, grown. We have been we've been um, evolving because we've gone through paper like all paper to um, <laughs> just recently like digitalizing electronic and um, that's huge for us because we know paper can be um, it can be difficult and um, recently we've gone from applications paper applications to electronic applications and now onboarding is come into our um, office where it was in the departments. Recruitment is something that we um, that I will handle along with um, probably I think the next speaker. Um, and I do the benefits, which is um, health and life, and I help out with other coworkers with so much more. But um, I am happy to say that the HR department has grown so much and we are definitely a department that um, is there to assist our departments and the constituents with the city um, and employees. We uh, are not a de department that wants to um, be like HR ooh, negative. No, we're there to help um, the people and assist. So thank you again for coming to the city and um, enjoy. I hope you can, you know, take some restaurants and enjoy the food. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, with that, we do have um, a few copies of some local restaurants, you know, mom and pop shops and things like that. If any of you are interested after today's event, you're more than welcome. Um, so we have our next senior HR generalist, Josephine Pinto, and she's going to give a brief description of what she does for the department. Hi everyone, um, good afternoon. My name is Josephine Pinto, I go by Josie. Um, I've been with the city for a year and a few months. It's gonna be two years in August. Um, my background, I did come from medical records in the hospital. So transitioning to um, HR is, it was easy but still learning a lot. Um, I did start off with the city as an HR assistant recently certified as well with um, Jenny, um, became a senior HR generalist. My specialty in the department is onboarding. Also, um, I do a lot of like inputting into like Munis, um, doing employee change notices. Um, I do touch a lot of different things within the department. A lot of things were transitioned from paper, electronic, so we have gone a long way. When I first started, everything was paper. So within a year, a lot of things have changed, and it's great how far we've gone so far. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Josie. Thank you, Josie. Our next guest is Patrick Brady, and I will say, I'll say this and be very careful when I say it because I'm in the room full of HR professionals. <laughs> Patrick has survived being in the department and being the only male employee in our department. So he balances us out, I must say. So here you go, Patrick. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Patrick. You can go meet Pat. Patrick, doesn't matter too much to me. Um, I originally come from Plymouth, so I've been with New Bedford for about nine months now, I want to say, since October. And before this, I was working in a home health care industry. So it was about going from 40 employees to over a thousand was quite jarring and in that time I dealt with a lot of HIPAA documents, um, filing FMLA requests and whatnot. So now with the state of Bedford I handle most of our FMLA and ADA requests, 
making sure people get reasonable accommodations that are reasonable to the city. And I also assist Ariana with our employee engagement events, along with um, continuing education credits for our fire department. And there's another thing. Um, <laughs> I'm blanking on it now. <laughs> um, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> um, also dealing with our unemployment claims, so marking them as fraudulent or if they're not fraudulent. And there is another thing here that I'm completely forgetting. <laughs> I already touched on that. <laughs> yeah. ADA. ADA, ADA too. All that stuff. Um, but no, I'm blaming on it now, but also just dealing with our employee inactivations and just making sure everything's up to date and also assign people local gut view assignments to make sure they're up to date on policies and procedures that are necessary for the city. But it's a pleasure to meet you all and I hope to meet more of you by the end of this. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Okay. And last but not least, we have Kate Levesque, who is our senior HR generalist. And Kate came to us from the town of Foxborough. Thanks, Vanity. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming today. My name is Kate Levesque. I am one of the newest members of the City of New Bedford's personnel team. And I just recently got my PHR back in November. I've had some uh, experience within the private sector in manufacturing, healthcare, and also staffing. So I've gotten a lot of ex HR experience in the past in my career, and I brought it forward to the city. And I'm, it's a pleasure to be working with everybody here in the city. Right now, I'm working uh, with Vanity and Judy on a lot of uh, disciplinary actions and investigation meetings. Uh, just trying to make sure everything is neat and tidy on that process. And then also um, with that, I'm also working on the uh, non-union employee handbook along with the management handbook that's going out shortly today. And it's just uh, wonderful to work in the city because there's a lot of differences between the town and city uh, structure wise. Um, I came from Foxborough which was an employee count of 200 to over a thousand here in the city of New Bedford and I'm looking forward to learning more. Thank you everyone. Thank you Kate. Okay all right if we can get the next slide up please thank you. Okay so now this next part of our presentation is very dear to the entire department. I call her, she's like a celebrity. Um, <laughs> she's going to be our speaker of today and kind of um, dive into what the objective of this HR group is going to look like, um, you know, moving forward. Uh, so her name is Judith Keating. Um, Judy is currently the HR director for the city of New Bedford and she is also the chair of the strategic planning committee for MMA, which a lot of you are familiar with. Um, she has 26 years of municipal experience, 20 of those years in HR. She received her HR management certification through Cornell University School of Industrial and Labor Relations. Um, she was an employment specialist for adults with cognitive disabilities for a nonprofit organization. Judy was a city councilor for the city of Lawrence, Massachusetts, as well as the special assistant to the mayor. During her time there, Judy created the comprehensive benefit guide for municipal employees and retirees. Prior to her journey in New Bedford, Judy was the former HR director for the town of Reading, Massachusetts. She is an exceptional leader and mentor for her team and colleagues, and the whole department is here that can attest to that. Um, so I will leave the floor to um, our tremendous leader, Judy Keating, and she will proceed with the rest of the presentation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Vanity. That was a little embarrassing. She's been <laughs> reading my resume, I think. Um, <laughs> but um, I have a superstar staff, and um, I, I've just got to tell you that um, coming here from uh, Reading, I moved here. Uh, three years ago is they have a residency requirement here in the city of New Bedford and I moved here three years ago two weeks after the shutdown for COVID. Um, I was sworn into my position here on April 6th of 2020 and it was kind of eerie because I walked into City Hall and there was nobody there. Uh, there were probably two departments that actually had lights on. So it was a little bit of an odd transition to say the least. Um, 
but um, I've been in, I was involved with the strategic planning committee for MMHR um, back when I was up in Reading and then when everything shut down that kind of took a back seat and certainly this this job had a lot more um, demands on it uh, and COVID we weren't really doing much during that time so uh, Dolores who was going to be here today but got called aside um, on another issue she she is the one who dragged me into uh, pulling a group together here in the southeastern Massachusetts area um, how many of you just a show of hands quickly how many of you were able to make the um, the regular MMHR meetings one or two this is this is a really um, a, a, a big deal for MMHR because we know this area of the state's very difficult to get to some of those um, other meetings Salem Mass I know that you know we normally do a an annual meeting up in Salem I think we just recently went to Boxborough or or somewhere but we're I'm all over the state when we go to these and it is it's a long drive you've got to commit the day to it and that can be difficult especially for those of you who have small departments and can't really get away um, I'm fortunate that I have a really, really good staff and I can, you know, uh, now step away for a day and say, okay, um, emergencies will be handled and um, they, can, they can manage it and everybody is, is pretty well versed on who does what and who helps who. Um, our goal here really is to hear from all of you. Um, we'd like you to reach out to your neighbors, you know, people from uh, surrounding communities and uh, see if we can't get them more involved. Uh, uh, there's a lot of support that I think that we can give each other, um, especially because we have folks that are coming into this um, area of HR from the private sector. You know the municipal. How many of you made a transition from private sector to public sector? Yeah. Do you think there's a big difference? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You, did it shock you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, we just kind of take for granted that, okay, we're going into another HR position and it's not going to be a real big deal. But then when you get here, you realize, oh my gosh, I've got, you know, five unions to deal with. And, you know, I mean, I think up in Lawrence, we had about 13 unions. We actually had a union of one. There was a, um, <laughs> I think it was the nurses union had had one person in it so every time they needed to have a grievance or negotiations people had to come in from Boston um, so municipal is is very different it's very unique and our goal here is to really find out what it is that you all need um, how can we all support each other um, and I think that that's the major goal of what it is that we're doing um, here with this group um, is there anybody here who has anybody that they want to bring in? Do you, ha do you have folks that are near you that you think really could be here? I, I know Elise from Bourne said that you have several folks that are. Yeah, I've got, so we meet as a Cape group just kind of on our own um, once a month. And I mentioned to them that I was coming to this this week. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe we can do some carpooling or mm -hmm. um, that kind of stuff to get all the managers or directors from the Cape all the way up from Provincetown all the way down to mm -hmm. something a little bit closer because I know they're not going out to Burlington or Danvers or mm -hmm. something like that. Well, um, this really is your group to build as you see fit. It's a team effort. So um, we really want to get all of your information. You know, there's, some, there's a questionnaire here for you today. So you can um, kind of tell us where it is that, what's, what's your vision? How do you see this particular group um, evolving? Um, uh, I, I'm happy to be here today, but I, I am going to tell you that, you know, I am, I am retiring soon. <laughs> um, uh, probably my official retirement date will be uh, the first week of February. Uh, don't tell the mayor just yet. I haven't written my letter. <laughs> He'll get that soon, though. But, um, uh, you know, so this really is an empowerment, uh, excuse me, an empowerment meeting. Uh, we want to make sure that you all know that, you know, you really do have the power within your hands to reach out, find those mentors, find that support system that we all need. I mean, I know that um, over the past several months, we've had a, a real uptick in um, grievances, bad behavior. Um, it just seems to be something that's in the air. I don't know, maybe it's in the water, but um, all of those things, you know, we can get beaten down on a regular basis and you really feel that. You need to have that, that support system where we can get together and say, okay, you know what? You're right, I did. I had this situation and this is how it ended up. 
you know, and it's great to have the folks that are really dealing with the exact same things that you're dealing with um, that y you can collaborate with and figure out, oh, well, if you handled it that way, maybe I can, you know. Um, are any of you from a, a city form of government? Attleboro, right? Do you have a city council and a mayor? Right. Uh, are the rest of you from uh, town manager, town administrator, board of selectmen type? Yeah, um, I've, done, I've done both. Redding was um, a town manager with the Board of Selectmen, and um, you know, it was a little different there. Um, the unions were really very easy to, to work with. Here it's a very different atmosphere. In Lawrence it was a very different atmosphere. Um, and everything is kind of cyclical. So you know, we're all dealing with, I think, a lot of the same issues, and we all need to have the same information um, shared. Um, so. You know, that's kind of what we're here for. It's, it's more or less a networking. We don't really want to keep it formal. Just want to make sure that everybody connects and that we grab more people to come in to the, um, to the group that is in the area. And also, I know that I'm an advocate for going to another town. So I think Fairhaven said they would be happy to host the next meeting. So whenever we decide that we want to have our next meeting, I guess we'll be going to Fairhaven. If you all are interested in hosting a meeting, please let us know. We'll, we'll you know, make sure that, you know, uh, we get that on the list and we kind of share the wealth a little bit. We can brown bag it if that's what you want to do every time. I don't think that we're going to get a, um, a budget from MMHR, so I would suggest that, you know, brown bagging, it might be the best, um, the best idea. Um, is there anything in particular that you think that we should be addressing um, today or that we should talk about today? Does anybody have any suggestions or concerns? How about expectations? Did anybody have any ex expectations coming here today other than just meeting some great people in HR, which we all know that's happening? Okay. Well, um, I don't really want to take up too much of your time. I, I, do want to say that we want to talk about a couple of things that we've done in New Bedford that has helped out. We've just recently done a management handbook. And um, this is a big deal because uh, the city of New Bedford had a lot of kind of fragmented policies that were, you know, in paper here and there and people weren't really clear on um, what was a past practice and then when I'd ask when I first came to New Bedford because of course I came completely blind to how they did things down here. So I would ask, you know, why is it that we're doing it this way? Well, you know, it's the way we've always done it. <laughs> yeah, okay, well that is what you're doing but why are you doing it that way? So um, several months ago I um, implemented a thing that I called Training Tuesdays. And we had everybody in the department put together a PowerPoint and get up and explain to all the staff what it is they did, how they did it, but they needed to also tell us why they did it. So that everybody at least had a foundation as to why they were performing the duties that they were performing. I'm also very happy to say that we've got um, most of our staff now um, certified. And we have two new staff members that we'll be sending to certification um, courses in the fall, which is a, a great deal. Now we've got some foundation. Uh, most of the folks that come here, with the exception of Kate, came from private industry. And you all know how that transition can look. So um, I just want to tell you that I will always be a resource for you. Um, my staff is always very happy to help. I'm really, like I said, they're superstars. You call them, you have a question, you have a problem, you need some um, uh, you know, sharing of information on, they're always, always good to help. If they can't answer it, they'll find somebody who can. Um, and I think, let me see, uh, we could go to the New Bedford way. How many of you have core values in your, in your communities? Do you have an actual core value? We do actually have core values. We call it the New Bedford way. And it talks about integrity, teamwork, um, respect, things of that nature. And um, the mayor every year does a New Bedford way award. And um, every department head gets to put in a nominee for that award. And, depending on, you know, where the department head feels that person, you know, um, excels, that would be um, one of the things that's considered for uh, giving that award. And th out of the entire city of probably about 1,300 employees, you might see four people get that award. So it is, is pretty, 
prestigious. Um, it goes out at, at the same time that we award our folks their, their pins. We um, recognize folks who have been here for five years with the pin, 10, 15, 20. I think the um, longest we've had here, Jenny, correct me if I'm wrong, 35? 45. 45 years. Can you imagine somebody working for the city of New Bedford for 45 years? We actually did have somebody here for 45 years this year. Pre pretty impressive. Um, so, um, we also have an HR mission statement. Do you all have a mission statement by any chance? Anybody have a mission statement? Well, we have a mission statement. Basically, says that you know we're really here. At, we're the customer service for 33 departments. Um, and the department heads and all of the employees. So that's what our mission is. It's here, we're here to serve those folks, support the department heads with difficult you know, situations, and also to help folks through a number of other things that aren't quite so difficult. We love doing the things like employee engagement where um, we're gonna be launching our employee discount program uh, probably the first week of July. We've got Ariana working on that. Um, we've got probably 20, how many? About 20 about 20 businesses that are exclusively offering employees um, of the city of New Bedford discounts. Could be anything from a 10% discount on the Silver Streak, which I think we should all hop on and go visit Nantucket. Um, and we'll get the discount. <laughs> and, um, you know, things like um, a yoga studio that is allowing, you know, New Bedford residents to take $10 or $5 off of whatever packages they buy. So it could, it could take any, any form, but it's just that one little thing that we're saying to our employees, we are trying to do the best for you. We understand times are difficult, but we want you to be engaged when you come into the workplace. It kind of, it kind of helps out. We all know about employee engagement. Um, so I want to say thank you to everybody, first of all, um, for coming. And um, anything that you can think of that we should be doing in this group, um, uh, issues that we should be discussing, uh, we can certainly um, start to build on that. And um, if you think that we should uh, go one place or another, I'm, I'm pretty much open to anything. Um, Stand-up comedy is not my, my <laughs> although some of my staff might think so, but um, I think the biggest thing that you've got to have in human resources is a really good sense of humor. If you don't, you, you, you're going to have a problem because it's, it's tough. You know, you've got to be able to walk away from a really tough situation and find something to laugh about uh, because it will wear on you. This, this business does wear us down, especially in a big city. So um, any questions from anybody? Oh, we have a quiet group today. Or do we have a shy group? There's a difference, quiet and shy. Um, if not, please, I'd like everybody to just take the time to um, get to know your neighbor sitting at the table. Please introduce yourself to the rest of the staff and um, uh, be sure to let us know what it is you'd like to do with this group moving forward. Because MMHR is very happy that we're all here today. Um, and I can tell you from Dolores, she's thrilled that we're all here. So thank you very much.